Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks for Team Deathmatch on Call of Duty World War II. Uh, I know this is a really casual game mode, and a lot of people like playing it when they're playing by themselves. And, uh, and I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks that will hopefully help you guys to do much better and to get a lot more wins in the Team Deathmatch game mode. So the first step that I have for you involves spawns, and that's having really good minimap awareness. Now, it's very important to have good minimap awareness in a game mode like Team Deathmatch because there's no objective. There's nothing to give you an idea of where the enemy is going to be coming from. When you're playing a game mode like Domination or Demolition, it's very easy to tell where the enemies are going to be spawning, or at least where they're going to be headed. Uh, playing Domination, if you have the A flag, there's a really good chance the enemies are going to be spawning at the C flag. Uh, if you're playing Demolition and you're attacking, there's a really good chance the enemies are going to be spawning where the defending side is. So, uh, game modes like that, it's very easy to determine which direction you need to go to. But when playing Team Deathmatch, the only goal of the entire game mode is to kill people. There's no objective that people are going towards, and there's no spawns that are just there, like Demolition, where you just know you're going to spawn on the defending side. So you need to be very careful when running around on Team Deathmatch, and the best way to know where the enemies are going to be is by using minimap awareness. Now this is very obvious if you do have a UAV, because you can just look at the minimap and see where they are, but if you don't have a UAV, the minimap is still, in my opinion, just as good. What you have to do is just look at the minimap, figure out where your teammates are, and figure out where the enemies are from there. For example, if you're on one side of the map and you see a lot of your teammates are on that side of the map, there's a really good chance the enemies are going to be on the other side of the map. Uh, so again, it's just a very simple tip that a lot of people really don't take into account for uh, when trying to figure out where enemies are in the Team Deathmatch game mode. So if you have really good minimap awareness, uh, you'll do much better and it'll be a lot easier to find enemies. Um, I don't want to say stare at the minimap the whole game. I know a lot of people will get into that trap where they just constantly look at the minimap and they'll end up dying uh, because they're glancing up at the minimap too much and uh, and they don't get the jump on whoever sees them. So don't stare at the minimap, but again, just pay attention to it and use it to your advantage and uh, and you'll do much better. The second tip that I have for you is to create unfair gunfights. Now like I just said, there's no objective in Team Deathmatch. The only goal is to kill people. So again, like I just said, the only objective in the game is to kill people. When you're playing Domination, there's a lot of times where you're going to get a lot of easy kills because there's a lot of people that are just jumping on the B flag, throwing their body out there and make it making it very easy for you to kill them. In Team Deathmatch, people aren't doing that. People aren't just throwing their body on a flag to capture it and giving you a free kill because the only objective is to kill people. So create unfair gunfights. Now what do I mean by that? Don't push too hard. If you know someone's pushing you, don't go after them. Head glitch, set up, get ready for them. Now I'm not saying to camp in the spawn because I absolutely hate when people do that. But there's no reason to go rushing around a corner when there's no flag to cap to win the game if someone's gonna be sitting there posting up waiting for you. It's a really dumb decision uh, and I don't think you're bad because you know, you're sitting there waiting for them to come to you instead of you running for them. Uh, now again, it's completely different than sitting in the back of the map the entire game, uh, but, but create unfair gunfights. Do things like head glitch. Uh, do things like jump around, right? Like there, there's nothing to do other than kill people. <laughs> so, uh, so don't give someone else the advantage because you just kind of want to run around aimlessly doing your own thing. The final tip that I have for you is to run low to medium score streaks. And I know a lot of people don't like doing this because I know a lot of you guys like to get those high score streaks and you think you can do it every game. But Team Deathmatch is not the game mode to do that on. If you're playing a long game mode like Hardpoint or Domination, you might be able to get a lot of those high score streaks. It might be very easy for you, especially if you're a really good player. But Team, Death Team Deathmatch goes by so quickly that it's almost pointless to run some of those high score streaks because the truth is there's a really good chance that you're not going to get them before the game ends. And if you're a good player and you do get them, there's a good chance the game's going to be almost over and it's going to be almost pointless. Even the best players in Call of Duty die. And even the best players, it may take a few times for them to get their high score streak. But in a game mode like Team Deathmatch, when it ends very, very quickly, by the time you get those really high score streaks, the game's going to be over and you're not going to really benefit your team by having those score streaks. So I definitely recommend running those low to medium score streaks so you can benefit your team, help yourself get more kills, and overall help yourself win the game. Score streaks that I really like running are the original three, I think. The Fighter Pilot, the Glide Bomb, and the Mortar Strike. I think these are absolutely phenomenal score streaks for Team Deathmatch. You can get them a few times, and they're going to help benefit your team and, again, help you win the game. Uh, you can run UAV. You can run counter UAV. Any of those low to medium streaks are really going to help you out a lot and uh, and I think are a lot more beneficial than some of those higher streaks that you may not even get in the game. So, uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy some of these tips. If you guys have any more tips to add for Team Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next video. Can we be friends?